it was nice. The, the lawns were green and there was no weeds. So, uh, lots of flowers. I, I like that kind of country, but um, I just like the way everything looked. It wasn't shabby and it wasn't run down. I just had two little kids and Jack worked and so we um, went off into Rush Park and played. And um, I have a lot of younger brothers and sisters and in the summertime they would come and play. So we would go to the park, that was a big deal. And um, there was a pizza place at the corner of Sylvan and uh, it was called Rico's and we would go once a week and have pizza and the kids loved it. Um, I shopped at, it was the, um, I don't know the name of it, we just said it was the Chinaman's Market. It was at Sylvan, it's where the Goodwill store is. And they were there back, as I understand it, according to his grandmother. They were there during the gold rush times and, and everything because Jack's grandmother lived till she was being 105 and she said they used to come in the wagon down Greenback Lane to shop at Sylvan Corners. And and I said, she, uh, she liked the name of Greenback and she said she could remember peeking out of the wagon because um, she always looked for Greenback, I guess, dollars were called greenback and so she always thought that that greenback lane would have lots of greenbacks in it but she could only find trees <laughs> well um let's see we um jack ran for honorary mayor at, at at the chamber and i was um when we bought the business i became active in the chamber and soon got promoted to vice president of this this and this um we did we did fundraisers to make money for, for the community to do something like that. I was the one to initiate uh, the petition to become a city. And my other cohorts were St <clears throat> uh, Steve Baker and John Anger, who is an attorney here in Citrus Heights. And so we initiated the process to become a city. And then during the period where we started to collect the signatures, one of Jack's um, honorary duties was he was the first one to sign the petition to incorporate Citrus Heights.